Aloha, Chair uh, Fukunaga and the committee. Uh, my name is H. Doug Matsuoka. I strongly oppose Bill 59 in all its forms. I've submitted uh, testimony both against Bill 59 and the, uh, uh, the draft uh, that I won't be repeating. I just want to point out a few things that I know and that you know that the public might not know, so that I want to bring that out so the public knows. One is that uh, there was a hearing on this on October uh, 29th, at which time there was a lot of testimony uh, against the measure and a lot of input by concerned citizens. At that meeting, uh, Council Member Pine noted that the wording of the bill violates, it, it might violate the uh, state constitution, Article 9, Section 10, yet that wording wasn't changed at all. Um, there was uh, HPD's written testimony that the bill may lead people to conclude that the city is focusing on homeless, on the homeless, and if that were the case, the city would have to deal with many suits alleging constitutionality claims. There was no change to the bill in that regard. Uh, the bill uh, uses, it, it was revealed that the bill uses public funds allocated to fix roads and sidewalks for the enforcement of the uh, raids against the homeless. And, and to enforce this bill. Uh, it was pointed out that the bill would be subject to the same lengthy and expensive legal challenges as its predecessor bills 54 and 7. Um, it was pointed out that the bill is not a remedy for homelessness and that there were bit better ways to address the homeless. It was pointed out that the bill will make uh, Hawaii's elevated juvenile incarceration rate worse. Okay, the bill uh, will lead to uh, the incarceration of nonviolent people and put them uh, in prison with violent offenders. It was pointed out at that meeting that the bill uh, should exclude juveniles, and if adult breadwinner, and if, if an adult breadwinner is incarcerated, that the city must have proper facilities to care for the youth. Um, it was pointed out that public safety is reasonably fulfilled by existing laws, and that the public safety of the people lying on the road is not considered. Uh, at all. It's just the public safety of those that have money that are trying to get to businesses that had the priority. It was pointed out that the impact caused by the houseless epidemic is of the city and state's own making and can be addressed otherwise by instituting immediate housing first policies. Um, on top of that, um, you know, the, the the draft limits the area, and, and uh, Council Member Chang said it's 5%. It's 5% of the area, maybe, of Oahu, of the amount covered, but it covers a substantially greater proportion of the people that are homeless that are actually lying on sidewalks, okay? Um, and to conclude, I'd like to say that in spite of no changes being made, um, as a result of uh, concerned public testimony, I believe this um, measure will pass. Criminalizing the poor serves the rich and their corporate and financial interests. This council has never been able to either enact a measure or block a measure that was in conflict with the financial interests of its corporate sponsors. So I predict, as I predicted on October 29th, that it will pass, and I just want to put that on the record so that the public knows now. That concludes my testimony. If anybody has questions for me. Okay, members, any questions for Mr. Matsuoka? Not, thank you. Thank you.